It's been quite some time since we uh, talked about you know, some lacrosse on this channel, so you know, it's about that time of the month to get to it. We got a we got we got a lot of stuff to talk about here. Uh, usually, I would just be talking about the NLL right now, but uh, I've got a lot of I got a lot of stuff to say um, about both PLL and college cross. Yes, I have started watching college cross. That that's actually the first thing we're going to talk about here. Uh, Man, if you've watched the Syracuse Orange, uh, they've been dealt a bad hand. Uh, they not look very good. They they have some they have some good pieces on their team, but I don't I don't think this team is going too far. You know, not not just the ACC. I'm talking about nationally. I'm talking about the uh, playoffs. You know, I, I I don't I don't see it. Like this team got rolled over. Uh, now these were just two games that I saw with Syracuse. There, there's some more coming down the pipeline. Uh, the one against Army, in which Army, you know, they ran away, took the game over late in the game, you know, and I was very surprised, you know, by that. Like, you got guys like Bobby Ashire and Bobby Nickturn, you know, just doing what they do best, which is go out there and being legit, just showing out out there for the Black Knights. And then you got Virginia with uh, not just Colin Schellenberger. There's another guy. Uh, I forgot his name real quick, but you know, I'm telling you, this is that Virginia team is damn good. It's a damn good Virginia team. Syracuse is one of those teams that you know is kind of kind of uh, I don't know right now. So um, you got to start watching College Cross um, last week or the week before. I think it was yeah, it was the week before last. You know, so I've been getting into that. And I'm excited, you know, I'm excited for the season. I've added a lot of lacrosse to the watch schedule for myself, you know, to keep my weekends open. And I'm excited to see how the season plays out for the college game. And I'm also going to be watching some women's lacrosse as well. Oh, yes. Um, you know, there's, there's some big games coming up this weekend in both men's and women's college lacrosse. Virginia, Maryland, number one versus number two in the men's game and then you got Boston College the reigning defending national champions taking on North Carolina also Rutgers Maryland that's going to be good as well and the Bulls are both this weekend so please if you're going to watch some lacrosse baby you better get all over there and do that you know get get to the ESPNs get to the ACC networks get to you know the few stations that actually put college lacrosse on television get get on get on get over to those tvs and get to it because this is going to be some good games this weekend whilst you're enjoying march madness um uh, and then the ivy league i gotta talk about the ivy league as well remember the, the ivy league hasn't really played in over a year and a half damn near two years so the fact that they've been getting big upsets like you know uh like it was either Penn or no, it was Princeton that beat Rutgers, and then somebody beat Georgetown. I think it was Yale that beat Georgetown, or maybe it was Penn. Um, I cannot remember, but but I do know what I do know is the Ivy League is back in full force. Like they're getting the upsets, they're getting big time things happening in non-conference play. Cornell is ranked very highly as well. I know of. Uh, I'm gonna be watching some Cornell later on. You know, there's like a game with them in Virginia later on uh, in April. I'm gonna be watching, so you know, by the by the time we update again, it's it's gonna be another huge weekend, you know, like in late April when I update, talking about you know lacrosse again, because it, it's it's gonna be wild. It's it's gonna be a wild wild week, you know, gonna be a wild wild next month for lacrosse. So I I cannot wait for that. Um, PLL they announced a new uniform sponsor and champions. They've announced their final eight stops. The schedule just dropped today, actually. Um, and then you got, and then you got the chaos, you know, chaos cross club. It, it, they're becoming the Buffalo band that's out here, with the way they've been picking off guys left and right, with Tohoka Nanachoke being one of those good ones. I mean, he's a damn good. I mean, Nanachoke is a damn good player. But um, the final eight stops are Fairfield, Connecticut, Frisco, which I'm hoping, you know, I, I've been trying to do some things, you know, the past few months trying to go to games you know for both Panther City and the Frisco Fighters but you know things are not working out the way I want to work out and I, I'm just 
I'm in a funk right now, so um, I'm in a depressive funk right now, and I don't know when I'm going to get out of it. I'm hoping I can get out of it soon, because, you know, I would like to not feel like shit. But, you know, whenever I do get out of it, you know, hopefully by the time, you know, we see, you know, when, when they come to, when the PLL comes to Frisco in July, you know, and that'll be like the last week of the July, by the way. You know, hopefully I'll go to those games. Because I'm excited, you know, for the PLL. I'm excited for the PLL this year. I'm excited for the Water Dogs this year, as you all know. Because I'm a Water Dogs fan until they move to, you know, actual cities. And then I will, if there's a Dallas team, I will happily shift my affiliation to that Dallas team. Um, and then you got, you got Denver. Denver's always one of the best places to go. You know, hint, hint, outlaws. Um, Salt Lake City, the bubble site, Seattle, uh, which is a surprise to me. Boston for a second time. Remember, Boston is the site of the All-Star Game, which I'm not going to watch because All-Star Games are stupid. Um, but there, Boston will be a site for the quarterfinals. Washington, D.C., Audi Field, which is the same place Virginia, Maryland will be happening at this weekend uh, for the semifinals. And Philadelphia on September 18th for the title. So... PLL running until September again. Again, I don't see the, I don't see why that PLL continues to run until September because it's just I just don't, personally don't think it's good practice to be running up against the NFL. Like you're gonna get overshadowed, like like across Twitter. You know, it, it's small, but this is not. And they always say to grow the game. And, you know, a lot of people were upset with PLL for not putting any other Midwestern-type cities up there. No Florida either. That was a big omission. Uh, you know, there's some good sites out west. You know, Denver's always a place that they should be going anyway, you know. Should place a team there, you know. But uh, other than that, I'm just like, okay, there's there's no Midwestern sites. There's no Florida. Atlanta's missing because remember Atlanta was one of those places that they were going to go originally in 2020 I think and it you know COVID happened so that didn't get to occur so you know there's there's going to be some cities hopefully for 2023 you know if if they don't move the city based models yet you know um, I don't know I don't know that, that, that just some places that I want to get off the top of my head you know some places I think the league should go and then the NLL uh, here, we got Nick Sykiewicz. I hope I said his name correctly. He steps down from being commissioner. Jessica Berman replaces him, but she's going to have to be replaced because she's going to be the new um, National Women's Soccer League commissioner. And I'm anticipating. I don't know if I'll watch some NWSL, but I might. Um, it, it's looking kind of interesting because there's some openings, you know, on my schedule for that. So I'm going to see. Uh, if you watch the Albany Buffalo game on February 18th, speaking of you know Buffalo Bandits, uh, they were throwing fisticuffs that game. You know Albany and Buffalo, like Matt Bink almost got injured in that game. You know, uh, so you know. Speaking of Albany, you know you got Joe Restartus now leading the league in points and goals, which is very crazy to me. You know, Lyle Thompson's continuing to be himself. You know, like he might score 50 goals on his own. You know this year, in my opinion, and Jake Jackson's also been, you know, one of those guys that's been a lifesaver for Georgia, you know, you got Wes Berg on a tear for San Diego, of course, Dane Dobby's still there, um, Ryan Lee of Colorado, check him out, he's also been great, you know, the Mammoth, you know, has been a damn good team so far, and then the rest of the West is gonna be, you know, the the uh, the West Division and the Western Conference is going to be a it's going to be a fight for that fourth spot. Panther City, you know, my Panther City Lacrosse Club has reeled off three straight wins, and the fight for the fourth playoff spot is on. Them Calgary and Saskatchewan are going to be going to have a fight for that final spot. And then you know, watch out for Tom Schreiber of Toronto. Uh, he leads the team in points there. Sean Evans of Halifax has also been on a tear. He leads that team in assists, the Thunderbirds of Halifax in assists. So, um, NLL, you know, has been very exciting. I believe there's like one game that's going to be broadcast this month on ESPN, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that's like later in the month, so I'm going to definitely tune into that. Of course, ESPN Plus has been a godsend. SC, you know, 
like sports to the top 10, you know, multiple sports to the top 10 plays from the NLL. You know, I'm hoping the PLL can also announce that they're going to ESPN as well. Hint, hint, get some games on ABC, please. Um, you know, um, yeah, yeah, that's about it for um, the update for lacrosse. Um, much longer than usual because, I mean, there's just a lot to talk about here. So, you know, like, uh, again, there's going to be a lot of good college lacrosse that we're going to be watching over the next few months, you know. So I'm excited for that. And, yeah, I'm trying to get myself out of the spunk. So please you know, support me by subscribing because I... There's some new subscribers here, and I'm glad for y'all. Glad for y'all to come. And I hope y'all stick around, because we got more stuff coming. Um, tomorrow, it'll be early tomorrow. I'm not sure when tomorrow, but it might be early tomorrow. That I'll put up the NBA March Madness update, because I do need to get that out as well. So we'll link that out, and instead of, you know, um, Thursday, because I, I originally planned it for Thursday, so we're going to get this out tomorrow during the second batch of first four games because there's not a lot, you know, first four material going on. So, you know, hope you all enjoyed this. Um, NLL, PLL, and College Cross has been fun to follow over the past few months, and I cannot wait to talk more next month. I'll see you all then.